In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. And with this problem, we need to find the midpoint of these two coordinate points. And midpoint is something typically taught in a geometry class. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through it. And if you do have suggestions for future questions of the day, feel free to leave those as comments. Now, when finding the midpoint, it might help to plot both of these points on the coordinate plane. So let me quickly draw a coordinate plane and then we can plot these. And let's start by plotting this point six comma negative three in blue. We know our X coordinate is at six, so right here, and its Y coordinate is at negative three, so we go down three. And we can plot this point right here, minus four comma five in this pink color. We know the X value is at negative four, and the Y value is at five, so we go up five units, and we're at this point right here. Now, the midpoint, is the point right in the middle of these. So if we draw a line that connects these two points, we are essentially looking for a point right in the middle of this line. Some point that will be right around here that splits this line exactly into two equally sized pieces. And we can develop an intuition for where the point should be by just looking at this line. We plot the two points, we connect them with the line, and we can roughly approximate where its midpoint should be. But the mathematical way to approach this is to essentially find the average of the x values and to find the average of the y values. So we can develop a formula here. Let's say we have two points, x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. The midpoint of these two points here would be the average of the x values and the average of the y values. So the x coordinate of the midpoint, we average the x coordinates of our two points, we add them together and then divide by two. Since we're adding two points together, we divide by two. If we were averaging, let's say three or three points, then we would add those together and then divide by three. So average is always adding all the data points together and then dividing by the total number of data points. So we do the same thing for the y values. We add them together, y1 plus y2, and then divide by two since we have the two data points here. And we can apply this formula to our two given points here. We have the x value of this first point, which is six, and we will add that to the x value of our second point, which is negative four. We'll divide that by two. And for the y values, we take the y value of our first point, minus three, we add it to the y value of our second point. We divide that by two to again find its average. And we can simplify. We have six plus negative four, which is just two. And we'll divide that by two. Here we have minus three plus five, which is two. And we divide that by two. And simplifying both of these, we just get one comma one. And if we plot this point, that will be right about there, which is right where we thought it should be. And this should make sense. This line, visually speaking, looks like it's been cut into two equally sized pieces. And there are other ways to check this rather than just confirming it visually. One way is to actually calculate the lengths of these two lines and show that they're equal. And for that, you can use the distance formula. And that can be a bit tedious, so I will leave that as an exercise for the viewer. 